Chief Meteorologist Nick Jansen. Had yeah, some breezy conditions throughout the morning and into the afternoon here today. Wind will continue to calm tonight and that'll drop some of our temperatures down overnight down into the teens. I think we're close to around 18, 19 for the low here tonight. Live look outside, everything quiet, no weather front. As of now, we're at 23 now. Wind out of the northwest at about 5 miles per hour. We'll probably stay steady about 5 to 10 overnight uh, tonight. Temperatures for most of us in those mid-20s will get down, I think, into the upper teens for lows here tonight. What to expect? Chilly. I think we could have uh, maybe some wind chills getting down to the single digits by tomorrow morning. As we look towards tomorrow, cloudy and cool. No snow expected through the daytime hours tomorrow. Snow chances come into the forecast late Thursday. Extending into Friday, mainly for that Friday morning commute, and then we'll see another round of maybe some snow and even some rain by this upcoming weekend. Here's what we know right now, what to know, what we're tracking. We're tracking those two chances of some snow showers across the region. Thursday night being our first round, a clipper system will move in probably after about 11 to midnight tomorrow night. Light to moderate snowfall. That'll lead to a couple inches of snowfall across the region Thursday, something we have not been used to <laughs> the past month or so, really all winter long. Where we've only accumulated close to around 10 to 11 inches for a lot of locations. This weekend, a much stronger system moves in. This will be Sunday through Monday, maybe even lingering into Tuesday. We'll start out as snow, and then as this low pressure system moves into the region, it might actually warm temperatures. We could have snow and then some rainfall accumulation on top of that snow as the weather maker exits the region. Future track radar here tonight to trying to pick up on some really light snowfall. A lot of that not making it down to the ground. No surface observations indicate that snow, at least widespread, is making it down to the ground. Maybe a couple little flurries. Most of that is evaporating because dew points are down to the low single digits. So really dry outside might be something that we have to overcome tomorrow. From the National Weather Service up in Minneapolis, already issuing uh, some winter weather advisories for areas just north of the KTDC viewing area, so just north of Goodhue County. We'll keep an eye on that. Wouldn't be surprised if we end up having some advisories by early on Friday morning. Senator Low out near Billings, that'll track in, give us enough forcing Enough lifting in the atmosphere to produce some of those snow showers. We'll track it out here in future track. Temps tonight into the low 20s and upper teens. Tomorrow, maybe some peaks of sunshine tomorrow. I think there's more clouds than sun tomorrow. High temperatures in the mid 30s. Notice we're at 3 o'clock. No snow. We finally start to work in that snow chance by about 11 to midnight. It might take a little bit for it to overcome some dry air uh, down towards the surface, so probably close to 11 to midnight. We continue with some snow overnight. Best chance for snow from about maybe midnight to, say, 6 a.m. And then as we fast forward, we start to pull in some drier air, and we kind of lose a lot of that snowfall starts to move south of Highway 18. As we look here, snowfall timing from about 2 until 6 o'clock. That'll be our best chance area-wide across southeast Minnesota and northern Iowa for light to moderate snowfall. Snowfall forecast here for those of us here in southeast Minnesota, northeast Iowa. Area-wide will kind of range anywhere from maybe an inch to maybe up to 5 inches as we look at areas along I-35 and then the Mississippi River Valley. Higher amounts expected, at least that higher end will be possible, maybe through Red Wing and Awabasha, Winona, La Crosse. Lighter amounts the farther south and southwest we get a Highway 52. Right now here in Rochester, expecting about one to four inches, a little bit of a wide range because there is some uncertainty in just how strong this system will be. The greatest area, the area of greatest uncertainty is what I have circled here right along Highway 18 because I think there could be some minor mixing. And if there is the minor mixing, that limits our totals. If there isn't the minor mixing, then we could get up maybe closer to that three to four inch range in some of those areas circled there in red. So keep up to date with the forecast as we move forward. Tonight, 18 for the overnight low as we look towards tomorrow, 37 for the high. No snow during the daytime hours, snow expected overnight. 10 day forecast here, 37 for that high on Friday, 37, or I should say on Thursday and on Friday. We look towards the weekend. We have that major weather maker on the way for Sunday, extending into Monday. Alert days in effect for that. We could have some snow and then transition into some rain on Monday. Going to be a busy week ahead, Nick. Uh, act after such a quiet winter, it's spring, and now we have the active.